Down and under. Well, no one wants to take the oath anymore, do they? Just those that have escaped the noose coming up from the south. And not so many of them now either. I've heard that if the wildlings attack, the crows would all fall in a single night. Aye, it's not safe here now. We ought to think about going to Winterfell, like your brother did. Yeah, it's not safe. your rosy butt cheeks off maybe so but your fish still ain't fresh let's go this way that madam Sybil is doing well for herself how is it that all the local girls work for her now bah who knows i don't get involved with whores business the girls seem to trust her she knows her art that one well, she was certainly strict in her day. I mean, just look at her mouth now. More a snot than a lady. There's a lot of people here. Any idea what has given her such a fright? Not at all. But she's sweet as an angel. I could never refuse her anything. For everyone's safety, so they say. Oh shit, I live there. I know it's just their little schemes. What is she talking about? Okay. Oh, this is where I need to go. What happened to you? They probably have a lot of coin to spare. All we need to do is find what interests them. We could always try selling them wilding trinkets. That's always a great success with passing foreigners. Yeah. Okay. So there are an opening. They go the other way. You're trembling like a leaf. It's my father. He was going to. To what? But she when he drinks, an angel, he often did. I could never refuse her anything. That bastard. What? He was going to rape her? Okay. All we need to do is find what interests him. Take care of the land of the gift, right? Yeah, but then... And in the north, the Starks of Winterfell are really in charge. Yes, they are. Okay. These two guys are not friendly. There's no way I'm going to get past them. Back. This could be a real gift from the I think gods. I'm going to kill them. They probably have a lot of coins. And leave. It's my father. He was going to. Let's Do see. What? When he drinks, he often hits me. Ah. That bastard. He hits her well. It's just the awful, but not as awful as raping her. <laughs> I guess. But how did you lose it? Oh, your fish is rotten. Oh, oh yeah. Well then, why? Do you always have a good excuse ready. What did I do to the seven to deserve such a husband? I don't know. It's only a question you can answer. All right. Let's explore with the little moors. Perhaps a nice vintage from our cellars. Why not? Let's drink our fill. Nice try, clever little <laughs> sod. Perhaps a nice vintage from our cellars. What are you blathering about? Off with you, Afwick, unless you want trouble. <laughs> okay. 
An interesting thing. It's obvious you're not the one fishing all morning in the lake and breathing your rosy butt cheeks off. Maybe so, but your fish still ain't fresh. But what an awful dog. Completely mad thing. Okay, let's go. Uh, south, I guess. This way. Moles, what are you doing here? I'm looking for a girl. A newcomer to Molestown. You haven't seen her in the area? I haven't moved for over an hour. And aside from all, I haven't seen much. And you? What are you doing here? Why are you camping out in front of this door? It's a sorry tale, Moles. We found one of our men in his room earlier. His chest was ripped open and his heart ripped out. Work of a wildling, if you ask me. Looks like a slaughterhouse in here. A wildling in Molestown? I don't believe it. We would have heard word by now if wildlings had been spotted. We'll see. The old bear has sent an officer to investigate this matter. You best be on your way. The area is sealed off until we get new orders. I see. Good luck. Okay. Uh, crime scene. But what if they didn't get all of them? There might be some prowling the woods right now. Oh, mother, have mercy. Please keep us safe. What? It's a purple plus one luck. Okay. We think not. The girl came to hide in my house. Any idea what had given her such a fright? Not at all. Those are men from the south. Could be a real gift from the gods. May the stranger take me. A crow this far from its home. It's the butcher. Mind yourself with that one. Of course. But we could say this is our territory. We don't approve of strangers stomping around here. Silence your tongue, Ben. You try to get us killed? What should we do, my lord? What are you doing here? We're here on business. Nothing out of the ordinary. Do you think you can easily fool me? I know the both of you. So spill your secrets before I make spill something else of yours. Please, we're only carrying a few goods to help out our friends. Smuggled goods. A girl came through here recently. Did you see her? If a lass had come through here, we'd have noticed it, my lord. Sorry, we've seen nothing. Consider yourself lucky this time around. If I catch you smuggling again, I won't be so lenient. Now, out of my way. Listen to the Black Brother Bran. We will obey. <laughs> okay. Belongs to the north. And in the north, the Starks of Winter. Okay. Fella really in charge. I think I'm going back. Yeah. Okay. Another one of your mistresses. My fish is fresh. Who wants fresh fish? Crazy shit. This is like a larynx. Even though it is fucking as small. One of these days. It's not my fault. 
There might be some prowling the woods right now. Not at all. But she's sweet as me. Okay. Okay, I explore the doll. Let's go and talk to Jane. They probably have a lot of points. Watch, take care of the land of the gift, right? Okay. There she is. Not very well hidden, really, but there you are at last, young lady. You couldn't get much further anyway. Is that her? Yes. There's no doubt about it. The trail leads right to her. Who are you? I am Moors Westford, a ranger of the Night's Watch. The King's Hand sent us to find you. The Night's Watch? The last time I crossed paths with one of you, he tried to steal from me. Really? Holy shit. You're the girl that Craven Deserter tried to steal from. He was no longer a brother of ours. He was a traitor to our order. And that was my dog that saved you from him back in the woods. I thought I'd seen that animal before. Enough. Sir Mors, you can leave us now. You have completed your mission and the Crown will show you its gratitude for this. You aren't a member of the Knight's Watch. Indeed. This is Sir Godric Donnelly, Lord Arryn's emissary. He is responsible for your protection. Yeah, right. I am here to take you to a safe place. A safe place? I know, Sir Donnelly. You don't look like him at all. Stop with the games, little girl. Go to hell, imposter. Silence! No, this must be an imposter, yeah. They all seem like... Like a strange people to be John Arryn Semiseries. Especially the other guy, the one did this man treated like shit. Besides, the letter didn't say I should give them to an emissary, it said I, I should protect her myself, so... Tell me, child, you say you know Sir Donnelly. Where and when did you last meet him? At King's Landing, a little while before I left. It's because of him that I'm freezing up here. So yes, I do remember his face. <sighs> Be reasonable, Jane. Our Lord's last wishes were to take you to a safe place, which is exactly what I plan on doing. Liar! Something's rotten here. We'll return to Castle Black and figure out what to do. I don't I'm think afraid so. not, Sir Westford. Do you intend on opposing my Lord's orders? I know full well where my duty lies. This situation would not please the Lord Commander, and it doesn't please me either. Mormont will decide. This matter is closed. Thank you, my lord. I don't understand why you are being so stubborn, He's going to attack. I'm asking you one final time to allow me to leave with the girl. Return to the wall and report that your mission was a success. My mission was to take this girl to safety. And I will. You can plead your case to the Lord Commander. Very well. I was hoping it wouldn't have to come to this, but you leave me no choice. Yeah. I won't allow anyone to get in my way. That was pretty clear. Holy shit. Does he have a... Uh, uh, uh. Enough energy, holy shit. He's going to murder me. Yeah, let's wait. Uh, uh, that's it. 
It's better to interrupt him than anything else. Okay, what does he have? I should be using the other weapon. Yeah. He has heavy armor, it seems. What? What the fuck is that thing? Okay. <laughs> Looks like a stick. But apparently it is what I, I think it is. Okay. Am I doing more or less damage? I have no clue. Should be doing more damage, I think. Who knows? At least I have health milk of the puppy. Okay, let's wait and see. He's hitting me hard. Uh, drink a milk of the poppy. Holy shit. Drinking stuff. Oh, no. What should I do? Ah! You are tougher than I imagined, Sir Westford, but you haven't heard the last of me. Bloodseekers, here! Kill the crow! Bring the girl back, dead or alive! I'll leave you to talk with my men. Resist if you will, but nothing will stop me from getting my hands on that girl. Not as long as I live. So be it. What the crazy ass one. Okay, now we switch. Uh, okay. He's holding his own that there That is going to allow me to kill this guy easily Alright, now the dog can start doing stuff to this guy And I can hit him. Not enough energy, okay. Holy shit! An army called above the puppies in order. Well, he missed. 
What an amazing thing. Well, he and me is my the ground. Okay, there we go. Let's get, leave the dog to his majesty here. So I'll interrupt. Okay. It's amazing how much they miss me. I'm a huge guy. Yet they keep missing me. Okay. Let's bring this guy down. Goldrickson. Thank you, my lord. If it weren't for you, I would no longer be alive. Follow me. Let's get out of this midden heap quickly before we get trapped here. That imposter thinks he can hide, but I'll hunt him down. Escape the trap as soon as you can. Okay, I will. Let me see where his ascent is leading, but let's say first at least. Because if his ascent is leading inside, then I shouldn't be going out. I'm guessing he's not. Oh, what's, or maybe I should. Giant's Trail Godrickson. Where should that ascent lead me? Outside, all right. So it we go. No man is free. All right, all right. Hear that one. Boars. Patrick, is all well? These soldiers attacked me when I was leaving Sybil's place, but I gave them a taste of my steel. Do you have any idea what's going on here? The man with me was an imposter, pretending to be Godric Donnelly, supposedly acting on behalf of the King's Hand. Be careful, Patrick. This brigand let his dogs loose on the Night's Watch. And they are everywhere. Be careful! Okay. Can I level up? Apparently I can level up. This is amusing at the maze more. Maze and sword, I guess. I haven't been using short blades that much. So I don't see... Blunt weapons and cutting weapons? Perforating weapons. Ah, uh, it's the other way around. I haven't been using this at all. I haven't been using the... Cutting weapons at all, yeah. It's not the... Uh, Put more points in those. 30 cent all around, great. Everything in 55, oh, right. I think that's a good thing. Now the hog gains another one, great. Throat lunch, very good. 
Yeah, let's go with throat launch. Defense. Guessing this one. Shield strike. Upend your opponent with a violent blow of your shield. Stun him if he has no shield. I knock him down. Okay. Energy cost 52. Says the situation an archer. Okay, I think I should send the the the, the dog to him. Uh, this guy, why not? Let's fight him. What the fuck is going on? Why why am I resting? that guy up. Yeah, that seems like a good thing. Send the dog to the archer. <laughs> uh, what is this guy doing? Uh, what, the, what are his weapons? He has, he has two mazes? What a crazy man. What is this? Death from above. Raise your weapon on the skies and strike your opponent. If the opponent is knocked down, you do twice as damage. Uh, okay, what's this? Up here, I'll knock your opponent to the ground with a violent blow. Why not? What's this? Devastation, but a massive strike against the opponent in front of you. Covers. Okay, let's do that one. That one. Maybe not, let's do this one, and then this one, that should kill him. Uh, maybe a massive strike is in order for me. Let's go. Holy shit, they are doing a lot of damage to me. Well, not particularly to me, but... Uh, this guy has two... Axes! Okay, I don't think I have any... Choice but to try and off... This guy quickly... Maybe... Or maybe help myself? Yeah, let's help myself. Let's go with a massive strike there. Uh, maybe if I can... Do another massive strike myself. We can kill them all. Quickly enough. Okay, this guy is bleeding. I don't think I have enough. Energy, yeah. Okay, let's see how we do. This is number fourth. Fourth, yeah. Okay, he's not. Uh, can this guy do another massive strike? Not enough energy. Maybe he can knock your opponent to the ground. It's not exactly what I want now. Okay. Now, there we go. Let's go with this one. As you strike. Okay, I think I need to drink milk of the puppy, maybe? Yeah, let's drink a milk of the puppy. Another massive strike should do a trick with these people. 
There he goes. Alright. Ah, it's a two-handed weapon. Actually, I'm rather pleased you came to the brothel. But where is Walter? Don't worry about him. The cheap wine they serve at the ore house knocked him right out. Considering the circumstances, I'd rather leave him in the ore's capable hands. He'll be thanking the Seven when he wakes up. Seven hells. If we all get out of this mess alive, I'm going to have a talk with him. What's going on, Mors? Why are these men attacking us? Why not? It's not like we're in a race against time. The imposter and his men are here for the girl, but it doesn't seem like they plan on protecting her. So, if that man is not Godric, who is he? I'm not certain, but we can worry about that later. For the moment, it's more important to get to Castle Black. We're too exposed here. Thank you for what you've done, my lord, but I'd rather continue on alone. That's out of the question. The Lord Commander would like to talk to you. Furthermore, my old friend John Arryn asked me to protect you, so you're staying with me. Yeah. But yeah, let's try to be good to his woman. You'll be safe within our walls. Our Lord Commander will find a solution. Since I have no choice, I suppose I'll go to the fortress with you. Happy to hear it. Patrick, this Godric imposter still has soldiers with him. Their camp is located between Castle Black and us. We must be very careful. What's the plan? Yeah, let's use the fucking dog. We have to get past them, but simply plowing through them without a plan would be risky. Our best chances lie in discreet observation. Watch over the girl, and I'll handle finding a way. When things turn nasty, I'll need you to remain by my side and defend the honor of the Night's Watch. Understood, Moors. Now, let's go, and be on the lookout for an enemy ambush, even within the village walls. Take Jank to Castle Black with Lord Commander to decide what to do next. Be on the watch for Godric's men. A frontal assault would be suicide. Okay. You don't need to tell me twice. 